By the time Sunday's game against the Bills had ended, I was surprised to look down at that stat sheet and notice this one observation. Ronnie Brown, 13 carries. Ricky Williams, 18 carries. Heading into this season, never did I anticipate Ricky would be the player getting more early repetitions than Ronnie. But after a recent conversation with Ronnie, it's all starting to make a little more sense. I'm Jeff Darlington with the Miami Herald, and for second down of first and goal, let's talk about this interesting dynamic between two very solid running backs. I'd been looking very deep into this one. Do the Dolphins have more confidence in Ricky? Are they worried about Ronnie's durability? Will either player be bothered if they can't get into that rhythm? But on Wednesday, Ronnie explained how and why the Dolphins ended up splitting carries between their star running backs. Ronnie, always laid back, said the two running backs have a relationship similar to a married couple. Yes, a married couple. His point is this. These guys know each other so well, they realize when the other needs a rest and when the other needs to keep going. He also said they can often decide, regardless of coach input, whether one guy will be in the game or the other. Now, coach Tony Sperano explained that there is always a planned rotation heading into each game, noting that they still have a very distinct understanding about how many carries to expect from each. But there's a very clear level of trust between Ronnie and Ricky, which has also led to a very clear level of trust between both backs and the coaching staff. So while it might have seemed peculiar to outsiders when Ronnie left the game after a 17-yard gain, for instance, only to stand on the sideline for several carries afterwards, that wasn't peculiar at all to Ronnie. I needed a breather, Brown said, so Ricky gave me one. No drama here, people. Just two running backs with a relationship that might be unlike any other in the NFL. That's it for second down. For third down, let's talk a little bit about Brandon Marshall. Thanks for joining us with the Miami Herald. I'm Jeff Darlington.